Uh, but let's move on and talk about choosing an online business model. Uh, there are three basic challenges we want to talk about with changing or adding a business model. And the first is one of my favorite words, which is hysteresis. It means sticky change. Uh, businesses make changes and then they stick to them for a while. You can't change your org chart every day. You can't change people's job descriptions every single day. Uh, and that's hysteresis. Things change for a while, the pressure builds up. Or I'm sorry, they stay the same for a while, the pressure builds up, and then they have to change. Um, so that's, that's one big factor to consider from a cultural as well as technological standpoint. Uh, for example, retailers often buy a, a cash register system that's supposed to last five to 10 years. So in year two, there isn't going to be much change. Uh, as I mentioned before, the formal and the informal power structures are different. We may organize or reorganize in such a way that formal and informal are kind of like one another for a while uh, when we implement a change. But over time, as the world changes, as opportunities change, uh, the informal power structure uh, and needs push it in different directions. Uh, and finally, are our skills, our talents, the infrastructure that we have, what we can and can't do well, what we're near to and what we're far from, uh, including people as well as things and businesses uh, have a big impact. So when we think about those challenges, we wanna think about what are the agents of change and what are the agents of inertia? Who are the people that want things to move and move fast and change? Uh, usually something like marketing is an agent of change. It's seeking opportunity. Uh, then we have agents of inertia, things that want to slow things down and keep them in a program. Uh, HR might be an example of something that generally is trying to keep things the same way. And we want to think about, is this a top down or a bottom up? Without the executive ownership level buy-in, that's you, uh, things are very hard to change. Uh, things come are brought about in a different way when they're come up from the grassroots level. Uh, we want to think about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in being online in our cost structures, in our competition and their cost structures, our ability to change, our ability to adapt, how much of that hysteresis uh, is sticking us in one place and making it hard for us. And we want to be able to compare our choices in how we sell, how we explain features and benefits, how we deal with objection handling and closing, uh, how we're going to deliver, who's going to deliver. Uh, not only is how is it gonna leave our door, but how do we cover the last mile? And how do we support things when we're not physically there to see them? Uh, how do we deal with things online? It's a different type of customer service. 